campus official here at St. Clair Community College tells me that he's been in contact with Ohio Health officials as recently as today in order to talk about proper safety and health protocols. But he also says that the school's been monitoring the situation since this weekend before the potential coronavirus cases were even announced here in Ohio. Sinclair takes these issues very seriously. Adam Merka, Vice President of Advancement at Sinclair, says he's been working for days to spread important information to students, faculty, and staff regarding the coronavirus. And just today, I personally sat in on a call with the Ohio Department of Health with all the rest of uh, my counterparts throughout higher education to make sure we're getting the latest. According to Merca, the DeWine administration, Montgomery County health officials, and other safety authorities have been providing local college campuses like Sinclair with the details they need. The most important thing to know is that there's absolutely no confirmed case of this coronavirus in Ohio at this point. Despite being a commuter campus, Merca says there is no greater threat of the virus to Sinclair than any other campus. But they're still making the effort to keep those who come and go on the campus in the know about how to avoid the potential spread of the virus. We are being more cautious than we have to be because that's the good rule of thumb when dealing with uh, people's safety and security, and we're just going to make sure that they know that the best way to prevent this virus from spreading is the same way you prevent every other virus from spreading. Wash your hands, take care of yourself if you're sick, and stay up to date on all the information. We reached out to University of Dayton and Wright State University for their response. University of Dayton officials said, quote, the University of Dayton monitors situations that could affect the health and safety of our community. We are communicating directly with faculty, staff, and students who could be most directly affected by the virus, including students from China and anyone with travel scheduled to China. Now, officials at Wright State University say, quote, Wright State and Student Health Services at Wright State Physicians are monitoring the situation along with the Ohio Departments of Health and Higher Education and the Greene County Public Health Department. The very similar responses from campuses all across the Miami Valley. And the CDC says that these two potential coronavirus cases, uh, they could be confirmed uh, whether or not they are actually the virus. And that could come as early as Thursday. In Dayton, Aaliyah Williamson, 2 News, working for you.